Introduction Hello folks, welcome to our channel, Phoenix Media. The Gods Must Be Crazy. Released in 1980. Let's begin. She and his sand tribe live happily in the Kalahari Desert, away from industrial civilization. One day, a pilot throws a glass Coca-Cola bottle out of the plane, and falls to the ground unbroken. Initially, she's people assume the bottle to be a gift from their gods, just as they believe plants and animals are, and found many uses for it. Unlike other gifts, however, there is only one glass bottle. Suddenly, everybody needed it most of the time. And unfamiliar emotions began to stir. Other new things came. Anger, jealousy, hate and violence. She to God shouted, take back your thing. We don't want it. Look at the trouble it brought. The gods did not take it back. He shouted, you must be crazy to send us this thing. Take it back. They called it the evil thing. As a result, she decides to embark on a trip to the edge of the world in order to dispose of the unsettled object. Eventually, a group of terrorists led by Sam Boga attempt assassination, after killing three cabinet officials and injuring two more in an attempt on the president's life. Boga's men are being followed by government troop, meantime, biologist Stein, who is studying the manure of wildlife, and Stein's assistant and mechanic, Pewdie, try hard to start a rusty jeep, to pick Kate Thompson, a woman who quit her job as a journalist to become a village school teacher. Stein is tasked with bringing Thompson to the village where she will teach, on the way to pick her up. I struggle to open the checkpoint gates and to get through it. Later on, the way, Jeep gets stuck in mud and he manages to move on doing some circus. After picking Kate again on the way back, again struggles to pass the gate. Their Jeep stalls while trying to ford a deep river, Stein is awkward and clumsy around her. He hoists it out with a winch, but it continues to lift the vehicle to a very high treetop level while a forgetful Stein is distracted extricating Thompson from a briar bush. Eventually, a snobbish safari tour guide named Jack Hind arrives, and takes Thompson the rest of the way to the village. One day, she happens upon a herd of goats, and shoots one with a tranquilizer arrow, planning to eat it. He is arrested and sentenced to jail. Beauty, who once lived with the San and can speak the San language, is discontent with the verdict. He and Stein arrange to hire she as a tracker for the remainder of his sentence in lieu of prison time, and teach she how to drive Stein's jeep. Meanwhile, the terrorists invade Thompson's school, taking her and the students as hostages as they make their escape to a neighboring country. Stein, Beauty, and she, immersed in their fieldwork, find that they are along the terrorists' and children's path and observe their movements with a telescope. She disguises among the hostages and they manage to immobilize six of the eight terrorists using makeshift tranquilizer darts launched by she with a miniature bow, allowing Thompson and the children to confiscate the terrorists' firearms. Stein and Beauty apprehended the remaining two terrorists by frightening one with a snake and by shooting at a tree above the other, causing latex to drip from the tree and irritate his skin. She starts the car, which was in reverse gear. Jack arrives and takes Thompson and the children away, taking credit for the rescue that Stein, Beauty, and she had actually planned and executed. Meanwhile, she tries to halt a car that has gone rogue, but Stein jumps on and stops it, causing a scene. Later, with she's term over, Stein pays his wages and sends him on his way. She has never seen paper money before, and throws them on the ground. Stein and Beauty then drive from their camp to visit Thompson, where Stein attempts to explain his tendency to be uncoordinated in her presence, but accidentally and repeatedly knocks over a number of objects in the process. Thompson finds his efforts endearing, and kisses Stein. She eventually arrives at God's window, the top of a cliff, with a solid layer of low-lying clouds obscuring the landscape below. Convinced that he has reached the edge of the world, he throws the bottle off the cliff, and returns to his family. The end. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more movie recaps and thanks for watching.